Hi, welcome to a new session. This session, we're going to learn the basics of removing a background and to leave a basically a transparent background. This is not the only way of doing it, but for newbies and beginners, this might prove to be um, quick and effective. So I've got an image that I want to remove the background from. So what I'm going to do is I am in Photoshop. So make sure you open up your Photoshop and go. And once you're in Photoshop, go and open up the image file. Open, find your image wherever it might be. I think mine is in Documents. I hope it's in Documents. Yep, there's my image, and I click Open. So that's my image, and um, I want to remove the brown background from the back. And then maybe in a, in, a, in the next video, I will kind of trim out what I want from that area. But today and right now, we're just interested in removing the background. So you notice here, this is the image. So what I'd like you to first of all do is duplicate the layer. So you work on the duplicate. So duplicate the layer, give it a name. So I'm going to call this Map 2. Click OK. I've duplicated the layer. This is the original. This is my copy. I'm going to switch off seeing the background so that all I'm working on is map 2, which is the duplicate. Now, to erase the background, there's a tool. So this eraser tool, if you right-click on it, you've got the eraser tool, you've got the background eraser, and you've got the magic eraser tool. The one we're interested in is the background eraser. You can decide what kind of shape you want, the size, to make it big or small. I'm going to use a big one because I want to quickly get as much of the background off as possible. And you can change the roundness. So if you want it more round, you make it 100%. Less round, more round makes it that round, or 75% makes it that kind of shape. I think I'll use that kind of shape. Okay, so that's done. And basically, um, I'm going to go ahead. So here, we'll protect the foreground. We'll probably protect anything in the foreground, but let's see what happens. All right, so as you can see, I'm gradually erasing the background. Now I chose the big one so that I could quickly do as much as possible earlier on. So that's what I'm doing, as much as possible earlier on. So I'm going to go around the edges and get as much done as possible. Whoops. I don't know what happened there. Edit undo. If you do make any mistakes, just undo. Beautiful tool, the undo tool. Kudos to whoever entered, whoever invented undo, because it's a savior in many cases. So I'm just going around very quickly the edges. Um, and I'm just using the bigger brush just for the general outline. It just makes it quick, a bigger brush. But obviously be careful, you don't want to have to keep um, redoing this. Right. So you go all the way around and keep erasing. Now, as you get to the cl um, closer to the main image that you want, you can reduce the brush size and you can zoom out. Command plus plus or Control plus plus. In that way, when you get into the nitty gritty, you can go around the edges of the image so much better. Now it's going to take some time, so I'm going to pause right now. Um, and just speed this up so that I finish the image. But, but basically, keep going around, erasing it carefully. Smaller brush and close to the edges. And hopefully, when you get back, you'll see the completed image. And I'll show you what show you the transparent one.